So Lana is back up after a brief multi-hour outage. It's currently trading at $97. Everything froze and the nodes are back up. My name is Michael. I welcome you to my channel and let's get into the details today. So recently in the past couple of months, there's been a huge explosion in activity in Solana. This was one of the major coins that FTX was holding. SBF was a big believer in and thanks to SBF's Solana investment rising, similar to Mt. Gox, Mark Capella's got out on that one. SPF is probably facing a lifetime in jail, but at least FTX investors are probably going to get a fair amount, if not all of their money back eventually, maybe in a couple of years. So Solana rose, it doubled in price, it tripled in price. And over the past year, essentially, the main all-time high of it was $125. Now that's still a far cry from where it was a couple of years ago, 250 But... Over the past couple months, really the past month itself, it was at a peak of over $106. Right now, it did trade in the 90s, high 90s, because everything fell. Recently, the past couple weeks have been a little tumultuous. Bitcoin, well, low 40s, right? Even below 40. So Solana was at $96 when the last time this happened, by the way, was over a year ago. It was ironically last February. So almost an entire year ago was the last outage. It was on February 25th. So around 9.52 UTC, the outage occurred. And around 15 UTC, blockchain data showed that all transactions have resumed processing. So obviously, with everything frozen, essentially, the engineers were going into panic mode. They were trying to repair everything. Well, traders started looking at it and shorting everything, and it went down below $94. Not a huge deal. It actually recovered all of that, and there was a little bit of a spike afterwards because there was more media attention on it. It was only out for a couple hours, really, uh, which at, in the grand scheme of things, you know, crypto's 24-7. If you're a stock trader, you, you clock out at a certain time, and that's it. Stock market freezes. There's holidays. Well, it's, you know, it, it's not going to be trading. Crypto, it's 24-7, baby. It's always on all the time. So uh, Lane, a Solana validator, went on X, and he posted that Solana mainnet beta is experiencing a performance degradation. A block progression is currently halted. Core engineers and the validators are actively investigating. And later he said that core engineers said they identified a fix and were building a new version for the validators to upgrade. And in that, Lane said that validators had begun generating snapshots using their local ledger state or the most recent data before the outage to prepare for a restart. So the cluster halted and there was a patch that was released. Everybody had to update with the patch. It sounds like a video game at this point, honestly. Uh, and the Solana Foundation came out and, and, you know, they're the ones obviously that maintain the network. And they said, validator operators should prepare for an upgrade and a restart of the network. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, so node operators were informed on the Discord channel that failure to upgrade to the latest software would result in the loss of delegation status for the Solana blockchain. So essentially, node operators would stop receiving the rewards. Um, if there's less node operators, the network's less secure uh, because nodes will be less distributed. So validators are important in blockchain. They're essentially the entities that utilize their computing power, whether it's their laptop, their main computer, or they have an entire you know, mining network, essentially. They are able to use that for blockchain, and they're able to process transactions. And a snapshot is essentially uh, something before a crash, a, hey, this is exactly what it sounds like. It's like a screenshot, except it has every uh, all the copy of blockchain data at a certain point in time, and they're able to revert and, and fix it and go back and, you know, whatever was the bug, they're able to kick that out, upgrade their program, and everything's all good to go from that point. So... Solana has been updated. There's been a massive boost in the price right now because of all the free marketing, essentially. Everybody's going crazy. And honestly, it's not doing so bad. So there's some articles that came out that said, hey, Solana keeps, everybody keeps pretending that it's in beta. And the reason everybody's saying it's in beta is because there's a bunch of upgrades that are coming along the way. And on their roadmap, this is what they want to do. They're the number one, they're one of the top cryptos right now, one of the top 
DeFi chains. There's the fifth largest DeFi chain with over a $1.7 billion in uh, capital committed to all of these various on-chain applications. One of those was Steppen. It was a fitness application that were heavily promoted by influencers and celebrities and also Sam Bankman Free. So there was a, uh, you know, there's obviously the token that's at a market capitalization of over $42 billion. They also are the first crypto to have their own phone. That's right. They have not only one phone, but now they're creating a second crypto phone that has just been recently announced. And this chapter two crypto phone will essentially be the cheaper version. Um, it's uh, a follow up to their hit phone saga, and it's supposed to roll out in 2025. And there's also more than 60,000 pre-orders right now. So pretty crazy that you already have a crypto phone. Uh, they also are one of the first crypto tokens to open their own storefront. They have created a storefront in beautiful New York City to introduce people to their novel technology. And there's a lot going on. They have a nonprofit Solana Foundation. They often uh, try and get as much attention and uh, they have investments in projects and initiatives to increase adoption towards cryptocurrency, towards themselves, obviously. But th there's this whole ecosystem of Solana that a lot of people are claiming something in beta isn't this far along. And whenever there's a crash, which this was a pretty major crash, uh, some outlets are reporting that there's been 11 total disruptions over the past two years. This was including minor events, but the, but the major event uh, was this last year. And potentially there was another major crash that was around 2021. And calling yourself, hey, we're in beta, you know, every time there's something major happens, it's kind of a, a quick, easy way out. It's kind of like all these big companies with COVID uh, coming out and saying, oh, sorry, you know, inflation, what can we do? That's why your Cheerios went up 25%. And that's why we also reduced the box sizes and, you know, shrinkflation, right? Uh, and there's tipflation and it's like a fallback. So a lot of people are saying, well, Solana's past that point. It, it, it's a major cryptocurrency right now. It's not a work in progress anymore. It it really is something that has turned into its own beast right now. It's a large company, essentially. There's little indication to when Solana will come out of its beta period. It's a live mainnet. It's open. It's accessible, just like any other blockchain. There's no requirements for any users to submit feedback or finding bugs. So is it a beta? Who knows? And that, you know, a lot of people think about that. But anyways, back to the phone. This is kind of cool. Where right now, you had the original Saga that sold out December 15th, 2023. It was initially unveiled back in uh, the summer of 22. It cost around $1,000, which honestly isn't that crazy considering, you know, you got the Samsung S23 or 24 Ultra now. At, at the top end is like, what, $1,600? And you got your top end iPhone with one terabyte also you know, fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars closer to 2000 actually now, almost like a MacBook Pro. So this is going to be for $1,000, and now you're going to have a cheaper version of that that will have support for the Solana uh, wallet, and it's going to be around $450. And these phones should start shipping out in 2025. Uh, they have crypto-supporting software already built in. With this, it was something that was kind of like a, a, a milestone for a cryptocurrency company to come out and say, hey, you know, this is this is the future. This is actually happening. And it's, I'm sure, very inspiring for the other larger projects out there where there's going to be a lot of haters, but eventually we are going to be, you know, in order to progress in cryptocurrency, we need to have more of these advancements where it's just easier. The big thing is it's a hurdle to get people interested in cryptocurrency who are maybe older or new to this environment because, they prefer something that's stable, regulated. Hey, it's, it, and we are going towards regulation. Of course, there's many things that are already regulated in crypto. Some some of them over-regulated. But a lot of people, it's very difficult to get into crypto because there's, there's so much. Well, I need to worry about security. I need to worry about taxes. I need to worry about these applications and the wallets and tokens. And what is DeFi? What are NFTs? What is this a project to scam? There's so much going on that companies need to figure out, okay, how can I simplify this for the end user? The, the actual, you know, Joe Blow who knows nothing about cryptocurrency, but potentially could be an investor or a, a adopter of this technology that we're building upon, whatever the token is, right? And Solana took it a step further where they're like, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's build a storefront. Let's get our phones out there. Let's get as much marketing as possible. And then we'll focus on even other better upgrades in the future. Solana, Ethereum, Bitcoin. 
these are all great projects that Bitcoin, you have this entire community of developers and supporters who are able to uh, help millions of people get onto the network. What do you do with this? How can you build your business and an entire life around it? And there's tokens that fail because they don't understand the concept. So Solana is doing great with that. I think there's a lot of potential in it. Uh, there was a small outage. It has been repaired. Everything is all good. Is it a beta? Maybe. Who knows? Who cares? At this point, I just want to thank you for... Uh, watching this video, we, we now have a desk and we, again, replaced the old computer with the new computer. We are going places. We are going to start uploading more content. And if you're interested in supporting me, uh, my link to my other channel is down below. If we can get to a thousand subscribers, we're already past 130, a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch time hours. We're more than 27% of the way already there in terms of watch time hours. That's when it will be monetized and we're getting more and more traction on that one. And once that channel is larger than this one, we'll have more subscribers coming over to this one and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, that's the grand plan. Thanks for watching. You have a good one. Take care.